Starship is in a state of constant evolution, progressively increasing in size and potential over time. As a result, various aspects of its design and construction have undergone significant transformations. In particular, the welding techniques used during its assembly. With new iterations, most notably the eagerly awaited V3 on the horizon, now presents an opportune moment to reflect on the evolution of these welding techniques and to ponder the improvements we might anticipate in future versions. How have these welding techniques advanced, and in what ways will they adapt as Starship evolves. Let's delve into this subject in today's episode of NR Studio. The massive Starship rocket, the epitome of SpaceX's aspirations for interplanetary exploration, is not a single entity. Rather, it is meticulously constructed from a series of intricately assembled stainless steel rings. These rings are intricately welded into segments and then assembled through the application of sophisticated welding techniques. While welding may seem like a straightforward endeavor, its implementation is far from simple, requiring meticulous techniques in keen attention to detail. Elon Musk has often underscored the critical role welding plays in Starship's assembly, stating that there are many techniques for melting and joining steel. However, consistent welding execution is critical alongside proper component integration. The importance of this precision is amplified when using stainless steel, as opposed to the carbon fiber used in the Falcon rockets. Stainless steel offers many advantages, most notably its lower cost, greater durability, and flexibility and formability. However, stainless steel also poses certain challenges, most notably its tendency to retain heat, which can complicate welding procedures. In the early stages of Starship development, SpaceX used the Flux Cord Arc Welding FCAW technique. Despite its functionality, this approach has certain limitations. The initial Starship prototypes exhibited a somewhat rugged and unrefined appearance, characterized by prominent welding seams and residual markings. The intense thermal energy produced by Flux Cord Arc Welding FCAW induced warping and deformation in the stainless steel, leading to a surface that was uneven. Moreover, stainless steel exhibits a susceptibility to scratching, which complicates the process of grinding down weld marks to achieve a more refined finish. These concerns transcended mere aesthetics. They presented significant structural vulnerabilities. Subpar welds may result in fissures occurring during the rocket's functionality, especially under the extreme stress encountered during atmospheric re-entry. These vulnerabilities have the potential to undermine the integrity of the weld and jeopardize mission success. Acknowledging these deficiencies, space SpaceX adopted a more sophisticated welding technique known as TIG tip or TIG tip semi automatic welding. This method afforded substantially enhanced control over the welding process, yielding cleaner and more uniform seams. Musk underscored the advantages, elucidating that these components are stamped rather than manually formed and feature TIG tip welding in place of flux core. Enhanced precision, reinforced joints, and a 20% reduction in mass. The benefits of TIG tip welding transcend mere aesthetics. The technique yielded more robust welds, thereby minimizing operational hazards and enabling the use of thinner stainless steel rings. The reduction in the number of welds required has led to a remarkable decrease in the overall mass of starships by as much as 20%, marking a significant advancement for spacecraft engineered to transport substantial payloads and navigate extreme environments. SpaceX did not restrict its ambitions to that alone. They further refined their manufacturing techniques through the integration of laser welding machines. These automated systems markedly enhance precision, thereby augmenting both the structural integrity and aesthetic appeal of the Starship prototypes. This evolution is particularly manifest when juxtaposing the dose cones of early prototypes with those of their more contemporary counterparts. The latest prototypes exhibit a refined aesthetic, devoid of discernible weld marks, while also reaping the advantages of accelerating and more efficient production processes. A pivotal advancement in the evolution of starships was the shift from 301 stainless steel to 304 L stainless steel. This advanced alloy provides enhanced corrosion resistance, a vital consideration for both manufacturing processes and functionality in the extreme conditions of space. The improved formulation of 304 L has resulted in welds that exhibit up to fourfold greater strength compared to previous iterations, while simultaneously enhancing the material's ductility by 25% under extreme temperature conditions. Moreover, its minimal carbon composition contributed to the mitigation of cracking, thereby bolstering the rocket's overall reliability. These advancements signify the apex of SpaceX's unwavering commitment to excellence. Through the enhancement of their welding methodologies and the advancement of material technology, SpaceX has evolved Starship into a spacecraft that is not only aesthetically striking, but also remarkably resilient and robust. The integration of meticulous welding techniques, cutting-edge materials, 
materials, and automation has fostered the development of a rocket adept at enduring the rigors of deep space exploration. The evolution of starships from their initial rudimentary prototypes to their present sophistication exemplifies the innovative ethos of SpaceX. Every advancement in welding techniques and materials propels humanity nearer to the fulfillment of the aspiration for sustainable space travel. Through these innovations, SpaceX consistently establishes new benchmarks in aerospace manufacturing, demonstrating that every nuance matters in the quest to shape the future of interplanetary exploration. SpaceX is currently leveraging the technologies and insights gained from previous iterations of Starship to enhance its latest models, thereby advancing the frontiers of innovation even more. At present, SpaceX is engaged in the production of Starship FEV-2, which involves various design modifications, while simultaneously preparing for the forthcoming V-3, an extensive iteration projected to achieve an impressive height of 150 meters. In these latest iterations, resilience continues to be the foremost emphasis. As Starship aspires to explore the more distant realms of space, beyond merely achieving orbital insertion like its predecessor, V-1, it will encounter progressively severe environmental challenges. Re-entry processes specifically will subject the vessel to extreme thermal conditions, necessitating a robust design and durable materials. Following six flights, Starship 5-1 has exhibited consistent advancements, particularly in navigating the complexities associated with re-entry. Nevertheless, a complete recovery continues to be unattainable, underscoring the necessity for additional innovations in production techniques. Promisingly, the initial prototypes of V-2 demonstrate substantial improvements. A side-by-side -side comparison of the nose cones from V-1 and V-2 highlights a considerable advancement. The welds on V-2 are virtually imperceptible, the perception of a cohesive, unified entity. This simultaneously indicates enhanced durability and underscores advancements in welding technology. However, durability constitutes merely one aspect of the overall equation. SpaceX is committed to the principle of reusability, aiming to enable their rockets to undertake multiple flights. Advanced welding techniques will be instrumental in realizing this objective as they mitigate structural stress and optimize refurbishment processes. An additional significant benefit of the innovative welding techniques lies in their enhanced speed. The substantial enhancement of automation has resulted in a remarkable acceleration of production timelines. The inaugural prototype of V2, designated Ship 33, was conceived and constructed in a remarkable span of merely 42 days, underscoring SpaceX's steadfast dedication to operational efficiency. Nonetheless, the genuine efficacy of the V2 welding techniques will be evaluated during actual flights, commencing with Flight 7 in the early part of next year. These flights will yield critical data for subsequent enhancements, thereby facilitating the advancement of V3 development. As the foundational principles of welding and production attain stability, Space SS's forthcoming initiative will involve large-scale replication. This is precisely where Star Factory plays a pivotal role. It is currently operational, consistently manufacturing components. To satisfy the requirements of large-scale production, supplementary welding systems may be necessary. In conjunction with the enhanced facilities, such as the Plan 2 Giga Bay, this new assembly bay will be designed with increased height and width, allowing it to accommodate the larger iterations of the Starship anticipated in the future. In relation to deployment timelines, SpaceX has set forth ambitious objectives for both its Starbase and Florida facilities, which are anticipated to employ the V3 versions. NASA has announced that the Starship is set to transition its operations to Florida upon reaching a launch frequency of one per week, a target anticipated to be achieved in the early part of the upcoming year. To achieve these objectives, it is imperative to prioritize the preparations for the production system particularly in the realm of welding technologies, without delay. SpaceX envisions the production of one Starship daily, thereby requiring continuous, 24-7 operational activity. Ongoing enhancements in welding techniques and comprehensive production processes will be paramount for the attainment of this objective. In addition to its production efforts, SpaceX is refining its testing and launch systems to augment its manufacturing capabilities. The Flame Trench test system, which is currently operational, has demonstrated significant efficacy. This ground Groundbreaking innovation enables SpaceX to enhance its launch frequency as newer prototypes are frequently prepared for deployment even before their predecessors have completed a flight. Engine enhancements are currently being implemented at the launch site, featuring the installation of Launch Tower B and a newly designed orbital launch mount. These systems are instrumental in enhancing the launch frequency of Starship and ultimately acquiring the rocket. As Starbase continues to grow and new launch facilities, such as those being developed in Florida, are established, replication of these processes is anticipated. Anticipated. Space is, is developing a groundbreaking system that seamlessly combines advanced manufacturing processes, stringent testing protocols, and state-of-the-art launch capabilities. Every minute detail 
irrespective of its size, reinforces the overarching vision. In the future, the Starship will facilitate humanity's journey to both the Moon and Mars, realizing aspirations that were once deemed unattainable. These milestones will be supported by a multitude of incremental innovations, including advanced welding techniques that fortify their foundation. English, what are your perspectives on space Starship development, particularly regarding advancements in its welding techniques, we invite you to share your insights in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for continued updates on SpaceX's incredible endeavors. With our discussion of Starship now underway, we turn our attention to exciting developments regarding Varda Space Industries, which was recently awarded a significant $48 million contract by the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, commonly referred to as AFRL. Varda Space Industries is revered for its pioneering efforts in the design and operation of re-entry capsules specifically engineered to transport specialized cargo from space. In February of this year, Varda successfully conducted its maiden mission, dubbed W-1. The mission was a monumental milestone, successfully facilitating the return of a capsule containing developed pharmaceuticals in a microgravity setting. The capsule re-entered Earth's atmosphere at an incredible 18,000 miles per hour, about 29,000 kilometers per hour, and achieved a carefully calculated landing in the Utah desert using a sophisticated parachute system. Building on this success, the AFRL contract highlights the growing interest in commercial vehicles for advanced military applications. The collaboration is strategically focused on evaluating military payloads at hypersonic speeds, addressing a highly complex challenge in aerospace engineering. Hypersonic testing involves the challenges of managing extreme thermal protection, ensuring precise navigation, and ensuring reliable sensor performance, critical elements for advancing next-generation defense technologies. The collaboration represents a fiscally prudent solution for the U.S. Space Force, as it offers a regulated, real-world testing environment without the high costs typically associated with conventional hypersonic vehicles. Varda's expertise in capsule design, in hypersonic atmospheric reentry makes them an exemplary collaborator for this effort. Under the newly awarded contract, Varda is poised to launch the W-2 mission in early 2025, showcasing the Varda hypersonic test vehicle equipped with AFRL's Osprey spectrometer payload. Osprey will collect critical atmospheric data during high-speed reentry, driving advances in defense science and technology. This partnership underscores the increasing viability of commercial military alliances in advancing space innovation. Stay alert as Varda expands its territory and carefully upgrades its advanced systems. Anyway, today's episode is over. See you in the next one.